ionic equilibrium in solution. Equilibrium is established when the unionized molecules and the ions in the weak electrolyte solution is called ionic equilibrium. When weak electrolyte solution partially ionized, so the unionized ions are the same as the ionized ions. So that is an equilibrium. Example, Fe3 plus aqueous plus SCN minus, which is sulfur cyanide, gives FeSCN2 plus ferrous cyanide 2 plus. Example, CH3COH gives CH3CO plus H minus. Okay? Fe3 plus aqueous plus sulfur cyanide negative gives FeSCN2 plus. This is CH3CO plus gives CH3CO plus H minus. This may be the acid base concept of ionization of acids and bases. Ionization constant. To pH scales, factor effecting. Now see this. Electrolyte is a chemical substance which can conduct electricity in its aqueous or molten state. The conduction of current through electrolyte is due to movement of ions. Because its ions move, that's why it is that's why it conducts electricity. Okay. Strong electrolyte is an electrolyte which dissociates almost completely into constituent ions in aqueous solution. Okay, it is known as strong electrolyte, hence they are good conductors of electricity. Example HCl, H2SO4, HNO3 minus, NaOH, KOH, CH3CO, Na, NH4Cl. Weak electrolyte is compounds which ionize partially in aqueous solution are poor conductors of electricity example all organic acids except sulfonic acid and bases like nh3 cs3 coh etc they are all weak electrolytes only they participate in ionic equilibrium only the weak electrolytes participate those compounds which don't conduct electricity are known as non-electrolytes now acids bases and salts acids are turn blue litmus to red and um, they sour and liberate H2 on reacting with some metals. Bases are bitter to taste, turn red litmus to brew, soapy in touch. Old definitions these are. The new definitions are based on Arrhenius concept. According to this theory, acids are the substances that dissociates in water to give H plus ions and or H3O plus ions. And bases are the substances that produce hydrogen ion or hydronium ions. Arrhenius concept fails to explain acidic and basic behavior in non-aqueous solution okay it, it fails to explain acidic and basic behavior in non-aqueous solution the solutions aqueous nahi hoti usme acidic basic behavior ko nahi explain kar pata genius concept okay and it uh, cannot explain the acidic character of al cl and basic character of ns3 ps3 in sab ka ye nahi explain kar pata hai plus according to this theory basically substances that dissociate in water to give h plus ion as acid and OH minus ions is base. But the water is not in the non-aqueous solution. It can't explain the basic nature of the basic nature of the theory. Okay, and ALCL, which is not OH minus and H plus, it can't explain the basic nature of the NH3. And PS3, it cannot explain. Do you have to take a look at your own? I have to see. They don't have OH minus ions, so it does not explain. It doesn't explain the basicity of substances like ammonia, which don't possess hydroxyl group. Now HX aqueous gives H plus aqueous plus X minus aqueous. HX aqueous plus H2O liquid gives H3O plus aqueous plus X minus aqueous. This is one example. Okay. MOH aqueous gives M plus aqueous plus OH minus aqueous. This is trigonal pyramidal as its bond and structure is pyramidal like like this. As I dictate, its bond and structure hydrated proton. Okay. We shall use H plus aqueous and H3O plus aqueous. ठीक है कौन दिस इस व्हाट वी शुड यूज ये क्या है इन दोनों का दिस इस अ हाईली रिएक्टिव प्रोटॉन देखो एचएक्स जो है दैट ब्रेक्स इनटू एच प्लस एंड एक्स माइनस नाउ सिंस एच प्लस इस वेरी रिएक्टिव इट रिएक्ट्स विथ एच टू टू फॉर्म एच थ्री ओ प्लस क्या दिस आई मस्ट क्वेश्चन